Grades, they are not just for students, they're for the Lansing superintendent as well. It's been more than seven months since the school board voted out former Super T.C. Wallace. And as Faye Lee reports, the board is taking a closer look at how Yvonne Kamal Kanul is doing her job. It's about tying performance to science. We used highly effective, effective, minimally effective, and ineffective. That's how Lansing School District Superintendent Yvonne Kamal Kanul will be graded on categories like curriculum, staff relationship, and budgeting. Gives her and us an opportunity to talk to her about where we feel the weaknesses are in the district. Board President Meyer Ford says the evaluation helps them and the administration make improvements to better educate students. For the superintendent, it's also about the bottom line. Now, board members have already completed this evaluation, though the outcome is not public yet. They'll partly be using these ratings to determine if they'll extend the superintendent's contract. Board members I spoke to say, despite some glitches, they feel the district is on track going through major restructuring. While not representing the opinion of the entire board, some say the superintendent has been a good communicator and kept the board informed. And I appreciate that. And it's something, you know, with an operation this large, it's important that you have a good functioning board um, CEO relationship. And I, you know, I kind of view the superintendent as the CEO of the Lansing School District. They hope to use this evaluation to guide them during a time of uncertainty. And they expect to release their findings to the public by November 1st. In Lansing, Faye Fox 47 News. When asked how the superintendent could improve, Ford said strengthening the business side of operations will be crucial, especially when the district will be looking closely at budgets and also discussing contracts with bargaining units.